we have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. It's PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's South Melbourne versus Cooley United. Part three of this rivalry, which so far has gone two zip South Melbourne's way. How the reigning champions and premiers of NPL Victoria Women's would love to get one over South Melbourne. Big pack of players waiting at the top of the box. Goodell floats the ball, holds up in the wind. Meyer attacks the ball, it falls in the six yard area. And Medwin away, Dempster with a volley, slices it high over the bar and out for a goal kick. South Melbourne struck first. Calder got a bit of a, a freak equaliser through Rachel Alonso. And then with five minutes to go, Lisa Devanna netted the winner. Calder in the area right now. Dempster firing a shot. Ramsey bobbles. And then had to go and scramble to clear it off the line. Gadelja's corner. It's hugging the goal line. Eliadis rose high, headed it into the path of Cindy Lay. And Lay's header over the bar, a missed opportunity for Calder. Dempster and Alonso over the free kick. It's Dempster dipping it and putting it just wide to the left. Not a bad hit. Free kick South Melbourne. Nicolacci on the right. Driving the ball over the head of Mason Jones and Jamie Pollock scores the opener. South Melbourne won, called to United nil. The goalkeeper came but did not collect. And the American Jamie Pollock puts the header in to give South Melbourne the lead. Disappointment in the Calder defence. Two tall central defenders, a very good keeper in Mason Jones, but they were all at sea there. Verzi intercepts. Eliadis turning and taking on the Calder team. Nicolacci rolls it to Pollock, through ball, almost connected with Martineau. Ayres able to bring it into her control, and now a flying shot from Eliadis that goes over the bar and out for a goal kick. Never really looked like bringing it down. Of a goal for North Geelong Warriors. Bobby Vidanovsky scoring to make it Green Gully 2, North Geelong 1. Nateros, back pass. Ramsey caught in possession by Dempster. And Dempster puts it into the side netting. What a let off for South Melbourne. Rebecca Dempster maybe could have taken a few touches to dribble into the penalty area, but shot from the top left corner of the box. There it looked as though. The wind was going to hold it up a bit, but South are away into their attacking third. Eliadis cuts to the byline, crossing it into the near post. Ayres puts it over the bar. And a great chance for South Melbourne to double their lead on the stroke of half time. In swinger, Pollock got the header on it. Eliadis just wide. And the referee blows for half time. South Melbourne finishing the first half with two great chances to double their advantage. Papadopoulos plays the ball back to Binning. Missed by Koja. Runs on with a quick one too. Clever here over on the left touch line as the ball breaks into the area. Martino can't get a touch here. Saved by Mason Jones. What a top save. Able to block the ball away. Follow up from Medwin from distance and it's held on to by Mason Jones again. Big double save and the halftime substitution. Ella Master Antonio Crucial in the build-up there, playing the ball through the area. It ended up on the boot of Molina Ayres, but it was well saved. It's been starved of opportunities, but has arguably had one of the best in the game. Eliadis has turned now, a deflected shot, and it's out for a corner. South Melbourne getting on top, 55 minutes gone. Keeps moving over to the right, Gummer. Moves it on first time, Martineau. Back to Gummer, called a defence back in position now. Gummer, hear the cries of switch, switch, it's a great ball. Master Antonio's through, and it's saved by Mason Jones into the path of Ayres. It's 2-0 for South Melbourne. And Ella Master Antonio's inclusion into the game has proved decisive at the start of the second half. Melina Ayres doing what she does best, burying the ball in the back of the net. It's South Melbourne 2, Calder United 0. And such a clever ball from Gummer across the pitch to pick out Ella Mastra Antonio. Closing in on the clean sweep of Calder in the home and away. Which would be quite an achievement. Calder have got subs warming up on the sideline. It might be too little too late. 
As Brody Siri and Emma Rovers get ready. Flag stays down on this long ball. Barbieri is through one on one. Yeah! And it's game back on. Confusion in the South defence because there was one called a straggler well and truly offside, but Barbieri wasn't. Her run from deep. One on one finish against the keeper. And in the blink of an eye, Calder do peg a goal back. Melinda J. Barbieri in the 58th minute. Makes it Calder United 1, South Melbourne 2. It's the ball clear. Kojo. Solid header, straight to Jamie Pollock, who's caught in possession by Cindy Lay. Now Siri playing an early ball. It's going to find Alexandra Sinclair. A question of the finish. And Sinclair shoots it straight at Ramsey, who makes a good save. Just can't quite get purchase on a clearance. Master Antonio nicks the ball on, which he fouled. Referee lets it roll. Gummer from the left this time. Over the head of Pollock. Nicolacci following in. Nicolacci puts it wide to the right. Plays the ball back to Adamopoulos. Now Medwin. Now Master Antonio through the right side. Eliadis. Has Nicolacci waiting in the box. Eliadis blazes it through the area. Runs through the six-yard box and out for a goal kick. Use of a goal in the women's NPL elsewhere as well. Southern United leading Box Hill United 1-0. Just puts ever so slightly more pressure on Alamein ahead of tomorrow's game against Geelong Galaxy. Here's Barbieri shooting from distance. Ramsey down to it. And even though the ball was able to find a way through it, what's the delivery like? Goodell turns it onto the line, headed away by Eliadis. Follow-up from Barbieri is out. Martineau then clears a big 50-50. Meyer only as far as Jamie Pollock. Coach really went through Martineau. Very sore getting up. It seems all right to continue. Sweeping long ball into the path of Ayres. Lobs Mason Jones and puts it over the bar. Great ball from Alex Gummer. Really opened up the pitch. Binning. Centre of defence for Calder. Sinclair. Pollock. Now Master Antonio. Long ball. Ayres might be through here. It's Ayres. Dinking it on. Goodell was back. Ayres with a header. Challenging in the air against Mason Jones. And the goalkeeper able to put it out for a corner. An aggressive Pollock challenge. Rovers back in. Bit of pinball. Binning. Slide tackle. Papadopoulos. Now over to Guljan Koja. Sweeps it over to the left. Well-timed run. From Mindy Barbieri, I should say. Taking a shot. Parried. Follow-up. Cindy Lay scores. Cindy Lay has got the equaliser for Colby United. Barbieri's initial shot. And Cindy Lay followed it in off the parry. And it looped into the right side of the net. Calder have come back from 2-0 down. 85th minute to all the score. Ball over to the right side. Molina Ayres. Volleys it into the path of Martin. Oh, a header. It's Greiser's turn. It's Greiser. It's bouncing. It's going just wide. Now sends it down the line. Rample heads it away. At the line. Out of Cindy Lay. The referee's seen enough. A call to come back from 2-0 down and prevent South Melbourne taking the home and away clean sweep. Even though a point is a handy one, maintaining their lead at the top of the ladder will be unhappy that they've given away a 2-0 advantage.